You know, the fashion industry never ceases to amaze me. Every year they come out with more bizarre pieces of, uh, of clothing for people's wardrobe. This time, Burberry <laughs> caught modeling something just offensive and sick and just plain stupid. Wait till you see this clip. The Guardian reports that the chief executive, chief creative officer of the luxury fashion brand Burberry has apologized for putting a hoodie with a string tied in the shape of a noose in its London Fashion Week runway, the knotted string surface after the show uh, when a model complained both before and show on Instagram saying that the noose not only evict lynching but also suicide. Here's a clip. Fashion may be about taking risks, but tonight another luxury brand is facing backlash for taking it too far. Burberry under fire for showcasing a hoodie at London Fashion Week, called out by one of its own models, writing, suicide is not fashion. It is beyond me how you could let a look resembling a noose hanging from a neck out on the runway. Adding, let's not forget about the horrifying history of lynching either. Burberry says the design was inspired by a nautical theme, but now realizes it was insensitive. The company apologized and removed the product and all images that featured it. Apologies are not enough when it comes to making racism a fashion trend. Last week, Katy Perry's brand yanked a pair of shoes from its website after comparisons to blackface. Gucci apologizing and removing this $890 turtleneck sweater from shelves. And Prada recently pulled an entire collection of products depicting a monkey with bright red lips. Diversity in the boardroom is essential if fashion houses really want to enter the 21st century. The Globe's top brands missing the mark yet again. Oh, these people, I mean, come on. I mean, come on. I mean, that, that clip pretty much told us all we needed to know. I mean, you got the Katy Perry shoes, you got the turtleneck. And you got the noose. I, I'm surprised they didn't bring up uh, Jussie Smollett and you know the rope around his neck that you know he put there. But <clears throat> this is just ridiculous. I mean, fa these fashion designers are already fashion criminals, in my opinion. Uh, but then to take it to the next level and and depicting these types of images that just get people all worked up is just ridiculous. All right, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and a sincere salutation to the Akim pushing his truth and sincerity, Bahashim Rakakodash. So, as you know, you already know, Burberry is uh, expensive, you know, top of the line, so called fashion of today, you know, and they're putting uh, what it seems blatant noose, okay that they used to use for lynching people, all right, on their clothing. And this is what they're doing, okay? They're, and they know Jake wears his clothes, so, you know, this is just another example of how these Edomites, okay, they have hate and disdain for you Jakes, man, you so-called Blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans who are the true biblical Israelites. So I got a little lesson, real short, you know, Lord willing, it's edifying. I hope it ain't too long. You know, I just saw this, you know, and also I'm going to go into um, the this article of clothing this Jake man had at the Oscars, you know. So, you know, this is crazy stuff, man. You know, this is 2019 and this is what they're doing. You know, they still showing their blatant um, racism, their hatred towards, you know, you Jakes, because Jakes really are, are the number one consumers of Burberry, uh, Gucci you know prada okay you know jake jake's you know came into money and jake's now wearing this expensive clothing okay you see these celebrities you know are are wearing this clothing and endorsing it you know and you know th these 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 uh fashion designers have said that this clothes is for, for white people but there you go jake wearing this you know even though it'll disrespect your your people you'll still you'll still wear it you don't care you know Burberry put a, a noose on their on their clothing, okay, and that lady walked out was was modeling it, but you still have Jake that'll wear it. They don't care, you know. So let me get a couple scriptures, man. Lord willing this be edifying. Let's see. Let me start in Psalm 73 and 8. It says they are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. 
Right. They are corrupt, man. And they speak wickedly concerning oppression. They, you know, they, they speak and, 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 you know, what they did by putting that noose, you know, th that says a lot, man. You know, they got this thing in the world called what? A fashion statement, man. So these, these so-called white people, they know what they're doing, man. Let's get it. They speak wickedly concerning oppression, man. They don't care about Jake's being oppressed and being lynched, and, and, and you know, and the the blackface, how how degrading it is and how disrespectful. They don't care, man. You know, they'll use it as fashion and they'll they'll sell objects that are depicting racist statements. That you know, that's their stance. You know, let's look up this word fashion statement, man. Clothes that draw attention to the person who wears them. You know, so really they're mocking, man. You know, they're mocking Jake and they think it's funny, man. It draws attention to whoever's wearing it. So if you're a so-called Negro and you're wearing a noose, all right, around your neck and, and, and called Burberry and it's worth, you know, a couple thousand dollars. Hey, man, you're doing something, man. But really, they're just making a joke out of you, man. They speak wickedly concerning oppression, man. You know, clothes that you wear or something else that you own in order to attract attention to show the to and show other people the type of person you are so this is what um you know burberry prada gucci this is what they want man they want you to wear their products buy their products and, 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 you know to attract attention they want you to know that they're racist and they want you know other people to see you wearing this know that you're you're a coon you know you're a coconut man and you, you don't have no 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 uh you know, so-called pride for your for your people, man. You know? So, this is Psalm 73 and 8. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. Let's put that word loftily, man. Strong's H, 4791. Marom. Marom. Right, they're proud of the fact that they had you, so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Latinos, uh, hung on trees, man, by wearing, you know, by putting that noose on on that Burberry, man. They know Jake wears this clothes, man. They know Jake came into money. All right, they set their mouth against the heavens and their tongue walketh through the earth. Right, they're making fashion statements, man, under heaven. All right. And their tongue walk it through the earth. They, they do whatever they want. They do whatever they they have come out and said that their clothes was for so-called white people for, you know, for them, for Edomites. You know. So I just wanted to bring this out, man. They're willing to be edifying, man. Let's see. This also came out too. I wanted to bring this out. This was at the Oscars, man. Let me run it back. Look at this Jake, man. Look at what, what is he wearing, man? He's wearing a dress, man. This is wicked, man. And he's over there hugging on the so-called white man. You know, these damn devils, you Edomites, man. Look at Jake, man. This is crazy. This is Sirach 39, 26. The principal things for the whole of use of a man's life are water, fire, iron, and salt, flour of wheat, honey, milk, and the blood of the grape, and oil, and clothing. All these things are for good to the godly, so to the sinners they are turned into evil. All right, so, the, you know, clothing, it, it, that's what a man uses all of his life, man. And for the godly, okay, it's good. But to the sinners, it's turned to evil, man. Look at clothing, you know. This is a sin, man. Clothing has been turned to evil. This is the statement that these designers want Jake's, you know, 
to portray, man, that they they that they are still racist, and there's nothing you're gonna do about it. You're gonna we're gonna put you in a dress. We're gonna put nooses, all right, on 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 this clothes, and we're gonna sell it to you. We're gonna make you wear it, and you know we're gonna make you look like a fool. That's what these devils do, man. That's that's their fashion statement, man. That's what statement they're making by making this clothes. All right, it says. Real quick, I just want to get this. It says, so to the sinners, they are turning to evil. So clothing, all right, is turning to evil because Jake wearing this stuff, man, this is this, this, this evil, man. Can't wear no dress. This is in the law. This is Deuteronomy 22 and 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment for all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy power. All right. It's an abomination to wear a dress unto you. How thy power? Okay. A man should not be wearing a, 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 a woman's garment, man. A man should not be wearing a dress, man. So clothes is, is, is good for a man for the use of his life. But but no, what do the, what do, what do these people do? They turn they turn something good, you know, into evil, man. And, and, and make Jake sin. All right. It's Revelation 12 and 10. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now has come salvation and strength and the kingdom of, of our power and the power of his Hamashiach. And that's what's coming, man. The kingdom is coming, man. Okay. It says, and the power of his Hamashiach for the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our power day and night. And that's what this devil is doing. Okay. He's accusing Jake by having him wear these dresses, man. Okay. By, by, by showing the Lord. By making the Lord, uh, Salaki, by showing the Lord that, that look at, you know, look at his, look at his people, look at the Israelites, look at what they do. They'll wear a noose on their neck. They'll wear dresses. They'll go buy Gucci after Gucci made a turtleneck that, you know, uh, um, uh, you know, a black face. Okay. Which was, uh, uh, basically, a uh, a, a, a degrading, um, depiction of, of a so-called Negro with big red lips and a black face. So they used to paint them, you know, a white man, we would dress up, you know, like a so-called Negro and they would paint his face black and, you know, put red lipstick on him just to make fun, you know, of, 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 of Judah, you know, this is what this devil does. He's the accuser of his brother, but he's being cast down by this word, man. You know, let's see. But Jake don't give a damn, man. Look at look at what Jake does, man. Jake don't care. Jake's living it up, man. He don't care. He'll wear this shit. Now, now, now how's Pop feeling? You know, your, 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 your Pop took, took that. He was sparring. Uh, I think my dad needs to stop boxing. He's older. Okay. But you know what I'm going to go into. Oh, wait. Look. So, you do together. You've you been a long time supporter. Hey, he knew. He Look at his face, man. He knew that reporter was going to bring up that black face, that turtleneck that Gucci did, that Gucci made. The, des the the designer Gucci, they made that turtleneck, you know? So supporting after all controversies? What controversy? Yeah, I'm sure you heard you know black stuff. You know, they they have the black face sweater and you know a lot of prominent artists are dropping them. You know, black Man, listen, I don't got nothing against nobody. Really? Um my thing is this, I support everybody, I like everybody. And my thing is this, I like to live life and do and do what I like to do. I'm not no follower, I do what the fuck I want to do. Right. Uh, because everybody say, uh, wear this, or don't wear this, I'm going what the fuck I want to wear. Well, I'm about to go in the goose. Were you disrespected at all by the whole black face? I'm about to go in the goose. I saw you drop that light 40 on, you know, at that uh, tournament the other day. Uh, the night game. Oh, yeah, but you see, we've been in there shopping today. Oh, yeah. oh man. Hey, you're, you're not worried about the backlash at all. Look at all the Gucci bags. Oh, man, I'm living life, man. Right. I'm living life. Because, you know, you know, people like T.I. So the boy, they're done with Gucci. And it's like, all I got to say is this. I don't follow. Right. I do what I want to do when I want to and how I want to. I love it like everybody. Right, right. You said they're going to be upset with me? Right, they are. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. See, the thing is this. I live for myself. Right. I live for myself. I do what I want to do when I want to and how I want to. I'm not a follower. You know, when everybody else, they say, oh, they, everybody going to boycott. I say, guess what? Well, this boy going to get on the yacht and live life. Right, right, right. Maybe you don't tell that they were disrespectful making the bottom of the bottom. the bottom of the black face. My thing is this. We all know racism still exists. But that's not going to stop my drive. I got friends from all walks of life. And to me, of course, black lives matter first. 
But my thing is this, I'm gonna continue to go out there, live life, and be happy, and be positive. Okay. I wear what I wanna wear, when I want to, and how I want to. Nobody can- This dude's bugged out, man. He's a coon, man, straight up. This is uh, Revelation 3 and 17. See, and Jake, that wears this, man. This is what they think, man. You know, you want to wear Burberry. You want to wear Gucci and Prada and all this. You know, after they blatantly uh, say their products are for white people. You know, they know you're going to spend the money. But, but hey, Jake want to floss. And, you know, like he got money and he living life. This is a Revelation 3 and 17. Because thou sayest, I am rich and increased with goods and have need of nothing. Knowest now, knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable, poor and poor and blind and naked. Right. Jake is naked, man. You ain't wearing nothing, man. You don't got the, you don't got the truth. You're not valuing for the truth. You're wretched. You're miserable. You're poor and you're blind because that money ain't going to save you, man. You know, that clothing ain't going to save you, man. You look at what these people do, man. Blatant disrespect to our people and you over here don't give a damn, man. Strong's G 1131. Gumnas. Gumnas. Right, naked, open, lay bare. Right, you're naked because the Lord sees right through all that money, sees through all that that pride persona, man. Sees through all that that so-called uh, um, gay clothing, man. All right, I counsel thee to buy me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich, and white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, and that thy shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and anoint thine eyes with eyes out, that thou mayest see. Right. Right, the Lord, the, you know, the Lord said to that thou mayest be clothed, man. Be clothed with truth, okay. So you be, you be, you be covered, okay, with righteousness, man. And 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 you not be naked, and, and that your sins show forth and be ashamed. Strong's G four thousand sixteen, Peribalo, Peribalo of garments to clothe one, okay, real clothing, man, according to this truth. All right, let me get one more scripture. I'm going to close it out. This is um, Isaiah 61 and 10. I will greatly rejoice in Yahweh. My soul shall be jo joyful in my power, for he has clothed me with the garments of salvation. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness as a bridegroom decketh himself with ornaments. Okay, so the Lord, uh, he clothed us with the garments of salvation, man, with this truth, with the, with the blueprint on how to make it back to the heavenly father. He hath covered me with the robe of righteousness, okay, which is this knowledge, this wisdom, and this understanding, as a bridegroom decketh himself with ornaments, and as a bride adorneth herself with her jewels. And we're that bride that is adorning herself with what? Precious jewels, man. Okay, precious jewels of knowledge. And the bridegroom who's Yahweh Shai, okay, who, who's gonna, who, who's getting us prepared for the ultimate, that ultimate marriage, that sealing together, okay, when the Lord comes back. So we don't need this clothes, man. You know, and we don't need to, you know, be in this, in this, uh, this bugged out, cooned out state, man. All right. So, Lord willing, this was edifying. I want to say, Brak the Yahawa, Brak the Yahushai, Brak the Yahawa, Brak the Yahushai, Brak the Yahawa, Brak the Yahushai, Shalom.